हेलो इंजीनियर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिविल निर्माण लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट हैव क्वेरीज दैट सर हाउ वी कैन चेक द डिफ्लेक्शन व्हाट आर द वेरियस वेज टू चेक द डिफ्लेक्शन एंड हाउ वी कैन वैलिडेट दैट सो इन टुडेज वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू चेक द डिफ्लेक्शन इन स्टैड एंड अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ग्लोबल एंड लोकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट वी विल ऑल्सो वेरीफाई द वैल्यूज यूजिंग अ मैनुअल कैलकुलेशन एंड क्रॉस चेक इट विद द स्टैट रिजल्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ for your understanding we will go through the step by step and few of the deflection why i have already validated so i'll show you that particularly directly so see the first check is the graphical method so in this particular you can go to the post processing mode uh, from here right and double click on a particular member over here right now navigate to the deflection tab so here you will see the graphical representation of the member deflection all right and here you have global and local deflection you can check out for the different cases for example for the dead load case it has this deflection of 3.28 similarly you can check out the local deflection as well so this particular method is great for the quick visualization right now the second method is using the output file okay so now let's extract the deflection value from the stat output file now to check this in the other way what you can do is stat is also capable for printing your stat outputs all right so what i'll do i'll go to the command tab over here and i can add now for the verification part i am adding this particular command over here after perform analysis right so i have added basically two commands print section displacement list for member number 6 so ultimately it will give me the section displacement list at 1/12th of the member in detail right and the next command that i have added is print section maximum displacement list for the member number 6 so it will also show me which is the governing load combination and for that particular what is the maximum displacement it has utilized okay so once you run the analysis so now for the running analysis it will take time so what i have done is i have already take out uh, the output uh, here in the presentation form to make you understand right so we'll quickly go over here so for this you can see that it is mentioned over here and two parts section displacement list for member number 6 so here it is and the next step that we have represented is section maximum displacement so in the first step you can observe that for load case 1 it has printed x y z all cat all the directions displacement from start to end at joints at 1/12th points so from here x y z this is the load case this is member number x y z 1 2 3 4 5 6 and continue okay so these are two parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on here in the second portion and here it has specified that for member number 6 the maximum local displacement is reported as 0.13606 under load case 1 now these values are calculated at 13 equally spaced points along the member line okay now how you can verify this manually similarly for the second part it has already listed the same value over here that the maximum deflection display sorry maximum reflection for this particular point is for load case 1 and it is 0.13606 it is printed directly over here it is printed in 12 different segments here it will give you only maximum value okay so now let's understand how we can manually verify the maximum displacement at the mid section of the member 6 using values from this output file all right so see take the local displacement at the mid section so over here if you observe uh, 1.0087 inches is the value now subtract the average 
displacement at the adjacent points okay so what will be your value so 0 0.0 0.9048 and 0.8405 so I have done the average of that value and I'm getting the value as 0.13605 inches now this result match with the value of 0.13606 inches reported in the stat analysis output which confirms its accuracy now similarly you can cross validate this with the maximum relative displacement as well so if I click on the displacement tab right over here we have beam relative displacement as well so here in the maximum relative displacement you can check out that this particular value will highlight over here which will give you the accurate result and in the next part what you can do is you can generate the report as well all right so in the stat what you can do that select the member and navigate to the report section displacement tab okay so let's say select the member and you can click on the report over here okay and here you have section displacement value tab as well right here you can short based on maximum displacement with right and click on your relative load cases where you want to print your deflection I'll add a dead load part and it will give you further value currently I have six selected 196 so you can get this excellent displacement like this as well right now the next important part that comes as local versus global displacement see See, global displacement refers to the movement of the member in the global coordinate system and it is reported at multiple sections along the member's length in your output file. That is your .anl file. While the local displacement measures the deflection relative to the member's local axis. Okay. So, okay. So, while checking, deflection compliance against your codal requirement let's say span by 240 or span by 360 whatever the requirement you have as per your codal provisions right so in our example the maximum local deflection for member 6 is 0.136 inches all across method so these are the four ways graphical representation analysis and output file relative displacement reports and manual validation through which you can validate your displacement stay tuned for more such structural engineering tips i'll see you in the next video and remember don't just learn software learn concepts thank you